Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Today, I have said before, is a travel day for me. And uh, what time is it? 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Somebody messaged me and said, can you tell us what, whether it's morning or evening? <laughs> so I'll try. I'll try. Um, so it's 5.30 in the morning. And... Uh, I got up about 4.30. I don't have to leave my house until 8.30, but I have to pack, and then, um, because I took the afternoon off yesterday, I didn't get my pre-call planners done. I've talked about those before. I'm gonna sit you guys here. I'm back to my regular camera today because I did not appreciate, does this, no, it doesn't. I did not appreciate vlogging with um, my phone. I'll do it for clips, like bits and pieces here and there, but I did not like it for right. I can't flip it around. I can't show you guys things easily. And I don't know. It didn't feel as natural to me. And as I edited yesterday's vlog, I was like, boy, Kristen, you just seem uncomfortable. <laughs> and I think it was because I was using the phone. To sit, uh, it just cracks me up. So anywho, we are back to the camera and I'm just going to pack it with me and I'll bring the charger and... It'll, it'll all be just fine. So, oh, I didn't really want that kind of coffee. Oh, well. I, I was going to have a flavored coffee. I need to grab mine. What is today? Tuesday. Um, I wanted to have pumpkin spice with that frosted sugar cookie, frosted sugar cookie cream, but we'll just have plain old. It'll be fine. So, I have to leave about eh, between 8.30 and quarter to 9.00. All right, slight pause from taking my supplements. So between 8.30 and quarter to nine, and then I have an appointment, a really big appointment actually, with a customer, it's kind of a big deal, uh, at 9.30 in Green Bay, and then my flight leaves at 11.50. Am I cutting it a little bit close? Yes. Will I probably be fine? Yes. Am I a little concerned because it's windy as all get out out there, like wind advisories, that something's going to happen with my flight? Yes. <laughs> yes to all of those questions that you might be having in your head. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what's happening this morning. I'm going to try to be a little, a little, I just, you know, part of the issue that I think too, and I'm taking my calcium, with yesterday is that I just knew that there was nothing for me to vlog. And it's one of those days where I normally would have just um, vlogged a few pieces and then the next day and then the next day. You know what I mean? Like I would have done a compilation of days. Oops. I forgot to take my cake cup. But I, I don't know. I kind of, I got both feedback from you guys. That you want something every day, even if it was short, or that it was okay to do it whenever I had enough. So we're just gonna see how it goes here, you guys. We are gonna see how it goes. And two, I just don't know. How do you like to keep moving you guys from cupboard to cupboard? I just don't know how Wi Fi is gonna be <clears throat> tonight. So well, I'm gonna try. I will edit what I have like um, through the day thus far probably um, on the plane or in my layover. I have a layover in Minneapolis. Mm, two hours? Something like that. I think two hours. Because in case you weren't aware. All right, I just came in here to do my makeup. Because in case you weren't aware, um, you can't get the only direct flight you can get out of like Green Bay and Appleton is to Detroit or Minneapolis or Chicago. And most of the time, like if I'm going to, oh, by the way, here's the hair. A little bit brighter. We're not quite there, but we're close. Um, <clears throat> I have to talk to you while I'm starting, starting my makeup here. So you can't, out of Green Bay and Appleton, it's just little connecting flights into bigger cities. So Detroit, I would, I would fly there no matter what. But Minneapolis, if I'm going to Minneapolis or Chicago, I'm not driving. I'm not flying. I'm driving. Both of them are about four hours. So both of them are about four hours. 
and they, um, it just make I just would rather have my own car when I get there. I don't want to deal with traffic around O'Hare, and I don't know the Minneapolis airport all that well. I'd rather just drive. Anyway, random information. I'm going to finish getting ready, and I will check in with you guys probably. Um, either after my apartment or maybe I'll, I'll kind of show you guys my, oh, you know what I will, since so many of you are asking about that luggage, I'll show you how I have it packed, if that is helpful for you guys. Okie dokie, it's about 6.30 and I just thought that I would show you guys, um, that I'm, you know, like I said, the packing and whatnot. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you guys kind of what I do here, I'm trying to collect. So I have, I was getting this little bag, I was getting this. I always put my perfume, whatever perfume I travel with, in a Ziploc. And let me say this. I just dropped the camera, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, I am checking luggage. I I don't know. I'm just not one of those travelers that, you know, part of that, it, part of this is, <laughs> I'm probably going to label this vlog travel talk because, so because I have to take, like I was talking about before, there's no direct flights. I always have to take luggage, we're always on these little small planes. And frequently I have to gate check. For those of you that don't know what that means, it means that you you know can check a bag or whatever, you can carry on. Well, a normal carry on like roll, pull behind, what do they call them, roller boards. Um, they fit on the overheads on most, most planes that you guys are probably used to flying on. But out of smaller airports, if you guys live in a smaller, you're familiar with this, you take these little like commuter jets and they don't have space for that so you have to gate check it um which means they give you just a little like they they tie a little thing on it give you the other side of it and then you know you you get on the plane you leave it at the gate get on the plane and then when you get off the plane you wait 10 to 15 minutes for them to unload all those bags and get them up there well that's no big deal if like today i could it would work today um, if you have a two hour layover, it's not a big deal. But if you have a half hour to get from that gate to your next gate to catch your flight and you have to gate check your bag, no, no ma'am. <laughs> I cannot deal with that stress of waiting for that. So I have to put my slippers on, my feet are cold. Um, so anyway, the point of this is that I check my bag now and I, um, because of the silver status, that I am with Delta, um, I can check it for free, so it doesn't cost work any more money. I was doing it. I'm trying to help with the light, in case you're wondering what that was. Um, okay, anyway. So the reason that I was going to be showing you guys this is because so many of you asked about this Away brand, so this is the one. And I, I bought this, they have no idea who I am, just to reiterate that. So it's really interesting. It has this piece right here that goes over, and then, you can, um, obviously you can put like things in here if you want, it zips up. And then this is like a compression thing. Let me get this piece out. So I've not actually used it yet, so I'll put this, I will put those together, I'll loosen this, put those together, and then you can pull it tight so it like squeezes down your, your clothes and keeps them in place. So there's that side. And then this side has a little zipper compartment. I'm not sure if I'll, I probably will. Uh, it's, I'm just gonna have to rearrange a little bit. So I have like these are my brushes, my makeup brushes, and um, this is hair stuff. I always bring it. This has I'm very careful about like mirrors and stuff. So I have my little this is my broken mirror that I use, but it travels with me. What can I say? So I have that in a twisty turby. Um, this is the stuff I normally if I have to, if I'm carrying on. You know, I have it all in this little thing here. That's actually toffee for um, my three tints of toffee. One for Holly, one for Heather, and one for Erica. And since I'm going to be meeting up with all of them, this is the, I have to tell you guys, my friend Annette from Israel sent me three of these, and they are really good. It's just deodorant, but it's really good. And have, has, has anybody else ever tried this? It's not available here, but I'm curious if anybody in other countries have tried that. And then this is my hot off the press, which is almost completely out. I need to get some more. And then down here is just some other kind of like um, skincare products down here. Then I have this little bag that I put everything that I used before the night. So this is a hand cream from 
um, Valley Green Naturals that wasn't strong enough for me, so I used it on my feet. And this is the hand cream that I'm currently using that is not strong enough. You guys, can you see my knuckles are cracking? Um, I need to get some more of my Neutrogena. And then my glasses are in there, and then there's a lip balm in there as well. So put that down in here. This is that new thing I just showed you guys that I bought from Numi that has the hair dryer, the curling iron, and the flat iron. So that'll be the first time I try that. This is a little thing that Tika gave me, actually, a long time ago, that I have my jewelry in. And then, speaking of things Tika gave me, she gave me this. Let me just sip it. All right. So this is something that Tika gave me that, as well, that has, I put my medicine in there and my um, Flonase, super exciting stuff. And then I'm just going to tuck my, um, I'll try to tuck this someplace where there's something soft. <laughs> My perfume, and that's the, in case anybody's curious, the Lancome um, the Via Bell or Via, I don't know, I can't remember what it is. And then I got to stick this mirror in here. This mirror isn't essential, but I do really like it because it stands up. This is the one that I've talked about before that I stick on the um, ice bucket usually to make like a vanity for myself. And on this side I just have, um, oh, actually these, not, these need to not go in there. <laughs> these are the pants I'm going to wear on the plane. And for tonight, but I'm wearing dress pants. I'm wearing these pants you guys have seen before. Um, for my customer, and then I'm going to change them. So I put that mirror here. So I just have, you know, something to sleep in. Some other clothes travel back. This I moved over here, and I'm hoping that that will help over here. So I, f I didn't even show you guys this, and this was half the reason. This is my makeup in here. And... I just really try <laughs> to protect it. So I will always, even if I, even in the, in summer, if I don't need a sweatshirt, I, sometimes it's cold in, in hotel rooms too. So there is that, but I'll just tuck it down in there and protect it with a sweatshirt. What can I say? Um, you know, it's one of the most important things in there. <laughs> so that's what I pack to take. Um, this for a two-day trip i probably wouldn't normally take this much but because um just funny because when my customer chose the restaurant that they chose to go out to and then he came back and said um what are we going with casual dress and i said well you know you prefer what do you prefer um and because he, he picked the restaurant and i'm not familiar with it and so i said oh it's a just a real casual place you know jeans would be fine so my boss and i would both wear, wear jeans you want to dress to what your customer's comfort level is, right? So, still drinking the coffee. It's starting to get cold. <laughs> it should be. It's, I made it like an hour ago. Um, anyway, so that was going to be a real easy pack, but then I realized, well, I had, you know, the, and I was going to carry on. And then I thought, well, I've got the toffee, and, um, you know, I just wanted to have something different to wear during the day when I'm hanging out with Erica. And then when I, you know, what I wear out with my customer. Anyway, let's just say when I pull out the big one, I tend to overpack. That's really what it boils down to. So now I'm going to pack up my briefcase, tote, whatever. I always call it a briefcase so that Bob knows what I'm talking about when, I ref when I'm referring to it. Um, but it's just a tote. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like a normal leather tote. Anyway, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish packing up. All right, so I just tucked the... Uh, should lift this up. Oh, that's not even close. 50 pounds. Um, I tucked those camel pants in there in the top. And then I can just grab them out after my appointment. I'm going to run in someplace and change them quickly. Okay, now i got to figure out what... Oh, you know what? Before we go, I'll just show you guys what... And yesterday I got another package from Becca and I was like, holy moly. Um, and they, so they sent this cute little light it up bag, which I, I love, you know me, I love, I love me a good bag. Let me move this out of the way. By the way, I'm really liking this. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to travel with it because I really try to just have one thing to carry through the airport if I can. So I'll probably pull up my little, um, my little, like Michael Kors crossbody. But good gravy, I love this bag. Okay, um, so they sent uh, this cute little, like, 
ring light sort of thing that I think you can put on your phone. So that's fun. And there's a little charger in there. And then they sent this Light Waves palette. Um, it's a highlight palette, and it has... Let me open it up. It's so pretty. I, I just love an ombre. Um, and it has Moonstone. And this is that Prismatic Amethyst, which I didn't get. And Amethyst is my birthstone. So, And then I can't remember what the other one is. Pink Sapphire, which I would think it would be a beautiful sort of blush topper. The lighting isn't... <laughs> I just looked over here as if I'm going to get light from the skylight. Yeah, it's dark out, Kristen. <laughs> That's not going to work. Anyway, really pretty. I'm excited to play with those. So, so that was fun. We're just going to leave that right there. Now I'm just grabbing my bag so I can pack myself up here. I don't usually take too much in my when I travel um, for like in my purse, you know what I mean? Like I, I clear it out pretty much. I'm trying to find, oh here it is. Um, so I'm just trying to decide I'm gonna grab my backpack or what the, the issue is that I have to take, um, I have to take both laptops because of Vlogmas. I generally do travel with both laptops. I've been trying not to travel with both of them, but it's just the way it's gonna have to work this time. So I forgot I dropped my earrings in here. I need my book too. Not a fun book, a workbook. Well, not that it's not fun, but it's just different fun. No, it's not. It's, it's work stuff that I have to read. These were the earrings I was wearing yesterday. I got these at that little, um, or not little, that huge, it was like a jewelry warehouse sort of a thing. Um, that's what I was wearing yesterday. I just think they're so fun and different. I really like different. I'm going to toss my iPad in there as well just because um, I want to maybe do a live from the hotel room. I'll have time tomorrow. So this is the, this, I'll find this and link it in case you're interested. I know you guys, I'm sorry the lighting's not too great in here. Uh, this is the Michael Kors like cross body. I love it. It has room enough that I can just take my wallet. Just take my wallet and <laughs> drop it in there. And if you didn't want to use a wallet or you want to use something different, there are little like card card holders in there. I don't know if you can see, I generally don't use that, but there's one, two, three card holders on each side, so six total. There is an inside pocket in here. If I can open that up and show you. Oh, I was looking for this. <laughs> it's my hourglass lipstick. Um, let me see if it says the name of the bag. I like to keep the thing in here. Um, it does not. So I'll have to link below. I got it at Nordstrom. It has a little Michael Kors booklet in here, but that does not say it either. It just says handbags, small goods. And then it has this outside pocket too, which is really nice. It came with a little pouch too. I don't know where I put the pouch, but I don't honestly know what that little pouch would be for. And it's, you know, it did fit right in here, but I really don't know what it'd be for. So I generally throw my wallet in here, throw my phone in here, and that's all that goes with me. That and apparently an hourglass lipstick. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. All right, I just had this mad search for my, I bought those new Packer luggage tags, you guys. Um, and I couldn't find them anywhere. It was giving me heart palpitations. Mostly because I needed a luggage tag to put on that, but partly because I paid extra because it was, <laughs> it was a Packer thing. So um, let me just scooch up here and put you guys in here again so i wanted to show you guys um this is what i take and i know they don't make this exact one anymore but i think kristen from kristen 321 i think she said she found hers on amazon and this is the person it was called the tech bag i love this thing i don't love the print pattern so much but i love the bag so um what's nice about this is that my laptop or my ipad right here there's a Thing in front where you can keep it in the case and it slides right down in there so I'm gonna zip that up and then inside I just keep these things in here all the time so this probably isn't charged I should have charged it I normally am more on top of things than this but so I keep one of these little things with like an extra charger for your for my phone I also have a regular charger for my phone um, this is the cord for the one half of the cord for my laptop the other one is right here I usually just stick this in too. Um, 
I don't know why I separate it out. Probably because it doesn't fit as completely well in here. I don't know. I actually don't know. I, I just am trying to... This, this doesn't even... It should not even go here. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is where I normally... You guys, I mean... Well, it's 7 now. I can't even claim how early it is. This is going to be my laptop charger. And actually, let's just throw that in there. So, my MacBook charger, that is. So... I just, I don't have the big, the big cord on this anymore. I used to always keep the big cord on it, but now I, I just will travel with like this. So let me get that tucked down in here. And, um, that's so funny. Like, why did I even do that? Here we go. So my MacBook there down in this little thing, I have a, an extension cord. This always goes with me, like on my person. This does not get packed in my suitcase. And then I have different earbuds that I like. I like these ones way better. And these have a microphone on them. I don't know if these ones do or not. The ones that came with the app, with the phone. But I can't stand these. They drive me crazy. They hurt my ears. I need a squishy thing. I'm a delicate flower, and I need squishy things for my ears. So I'm gonna stick these down in here. I had I was using them to edit the vlog last night, and it has the little extra dongle thing so that it will fit in my in my phone I have my phone on the charger I leave it on the charger and then I'm gonna zip this up and then usually when I'm on the plane I'll stick the earphones I'm using down in this outside pocket but I love this thing it's, I just like that everything is in one place I can grab it and go so then I have my work charger in this little bag apparently in two separate pieces I don't know if I was thinking that I could do the same thing. You know how the Mac one, you can split it up? I wonder if I was thinking that that was the case with this, but it certainly is not. So then this will just be separate down in there. Um, and then I'm going to use my, this is a um, backpack that work gave us. And I love this backpack. It's, if I can find it, I'll try to link it for you. It's by... Wenger, W-E-N-G-E-R, so it looks like that, that's the name right there, and a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't, it has a ton of pockets in it, so some people don't really like that, but I do, so I'll put my work laptop in the back here that has a little, it has a little like bar, sort of squishy bar that'll hold it in place, and then I have this for my MacBook, and I'll put my MacBook in here, and then I put that in there, and I can put all my files in there, and then I can stick my purse. I can stick my purse right there, and it's just for easy for me to grab out. I'm not usually hauling this like on my back where somebody could just grab that out. And if I am gonna haul it on my back, then I'll just stick this on the inside. There's there's tons of pockets in here. There's, I have an extra extension cord. I seriously travel with like, you just never know when somebody else is gonna need the same plug you have and you can make a friend by using an extension cord that has a little multiple socket on it and they're like a dollar. So I have them everywhere. Anyway, there's a lot of room in here is, is the point of what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna collect all my files that I need. I'm actually going to keep this separate. Oh, how am I gonna do this? It's weird for me to have an appointment before I hop on the plane, so I have to keep like some things separate and some things not, but anyway. I'm going to get this all packed up. I still have, I don't have to leave till 8.30, but I want to try to leave at 8. I want to scoot in and get a birthday card. It's Erica Jones's birthday the day after I see her. It's also Stephen's birthday that same day. Uh, and, right? Yeah, the 7th. And so I just want to have a little card for her along with her um her toffee, which is really for Christmas. So, but anyway, I just thought it would be nice to have a little card for her. So, all right, I'm going to get on this and, uh, I'll see you guys from the airport. Bye -bye. <laughs> just want to tell you, we don't know. I know you guys saw me go up to get the garbage can yesterday and we don't know why, but they never came yesterday. So we don't know if they had like a breakdown or like maybe the truck broke down or something. Um, but I've been watching for them, hoping that they would come this morning because it's, super windy and I wanted to get this up here. Um, yeah, it's winter in Wisconsin all of a sudden. Oh, Lord have mercy. I think it's about 25 degrees today. Yesterday it was 57. Right. I chose to not uh, make you guys listen to the wind. Um, I'm a little frustrated with our Reef light situation. It keeps turning our lights like this. So I think 
I think I'm going to put a little zip tie if I, on the back of here. I think if I, if I make that ribbon stay together, it won't, um, oh geez. This is what I'm oh geezing. Good gracious. Well, let's just leave it like that and see if my theory is true. <laughs> Since it's all twisted up anyway. Yeah, a lot of wind warnings. Not so happy about hopping in a plane when it's like that, but just means it's gonna be really turbulent. Oh, well. Okay, so um, Holly and Heather just got here to pick me up and I, I literally like ran in, threw my stuff down, pulled the stuff out that I needed. Um, I meant to show you guys this. I don't even know if I can show you if you can tell in here how fun these pants are. I got these pants at um, Additionnel when I was in Canada and they're comfy and they're work pants and they're comfy. I wish that we had an Additionnel around here because I would go in there to see if I could find any more. Anyway, you know, quick little room tour. <laughs> room, bed, suitcase where I flew things out of, desk, TV. <laughs> it always cracks me up when people do room tours because I'm like, yeah, it's a hotel room. They all look the same. Okay, so I'm going to go down. I have toffee for them. I'm really excited to give them that. It's cold here and I'll vlog more in a little bit. All right, so I am out at, where am I at? Wild Rita's. Wild Rita's in Louisville. Did I say it properly? Sure. Oh, yeah. what did I swear? Well, I, I say, I say, Louisville. Oh, because you said Louisville. Because founded after Louis XVI. I know. Don't look at me like that. I thought I got... <laughs> You're so angry. I went... But I can't help it. Like, Heather's I'm a grammar history. Because, Wait, no, for those of you that don't know these two lovely ladies, these are the ladies of Smart Mouth Beauty, which I've mentioned several times before. This is Heather, and this is her sister, Holly. <laughs> and today... <laughs> yeah, right. That's how they... Wild Rita's. So, um, I thought that the last time I came here, I said Louisville, and I got hollered at but it must have been from somebody else, not from you guys. It, it's a big debate. Oh, it's a big debate. It's an ongoing debate. Got it. Yeah. So we are about to have some chips, yes. guacamole. Yes, chips and guacamole. And, and they have regular tea. margaritas. Mm -hmm. And I have, I don't know what I ordered. I forgot. It's strong. Um, was it strong? No. I think it was, I think this is what I got. Nope, nope. That's fresca? Because that has the strong. Oh, yes, this one. Yeah. That's, that's the one so I have, cute. folks. It is cute. I want to know why they got big girl glasses and I got a little girl glass. <laughs> that just means yours is more concentrated with the oh, alcohol. Great. And I don't, is this mint? It's a really big mint leaf. If that's mint. Does it say? Basil. You do not really? It's basil. Yeah. It's going to smell that. It sure is. Can we talk about your nails though? They look gorgeous. Oh, All right. So we have pretty. girl talk. All right, friends. I have not told you what time it is. You know how I like to do that. 10 o'clock Eastern time. <laughs> so in my world, it's only 9 o'clock. Oh, yes, This yes, one's yes. still glittering like a disco ball. Look at her eyeballs. Which disco balls are made here, by the way? They are? Mm -hmm. In Kentucky? In Louisville. In Louisville. I mean, yep. for disco real? Balls. Mm -hmm. How did you just know that little You just random tell pieces you of information. No, listen, I'll tell you how I know that. Because I recently became a certified tourism ambassador. <gasps> for real? In Louisville, Kentucky. That's awesome. I'm certified. That's a big I, think, I am certified. Yeah, I'm, I, think I, am. I'm, I think I'm going to need to spend a whole day here so you can take me around and oh, show like me the all the... Oh, I like the whole Disney. Yeah, I love it. Good. I love yeah. it. So. Well, I just want to do one more little clip. And we just did a live and it was a lot of fun. So I just wanted to I just wanted to have one more little clip with you guys before I before I uh, take off. I'll probably end the vlog when we get back to the hotel. Wait, wait. They're not going to the hotel. I'm going to the hotel. Super party. Super party. Yeah, right. We talked so to done that, that would have been fun. This one has to work at 7.45 in the morning. I Isn't do. it nice of her to come out and hang out with me so late? One. Yes. Hit one. <laughs> Seriously. I, I work like one to eight tomorrow. Oh, well, really? Yeah. yeah. A whole seven hours? Exactly. Exactly. Don't get me started. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. All right, I have to tell, tell you guys. Walking into my hotel. Um, those two ladies, they're just so much fun. They're just genuine and down to earth and sassy and fun. <laughs> I just have a really good time with them. So this is the second time we've been able to hang out. I just moved my car because when I got here, there's some big convention going on at the, I'm staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. I'm a Hilton girl. <laughs> That's where I always stay. And there was some conventions so I was in like the back 40 like way in the back when I parked 
So we just moved my car up a little closer, a little safer, that sort of thing. Anyway, I had such a really good time. I'm gonna show you guys what they gave me in my little bag here when I get up into the room. All right, so by the way, my makeup today was that Givenchy in Brune Cashmere on my eyes. And then I use a little MAC Soft Brown in the crease and a little MAC, I think it's Brown Down. Yes, brown down in the outer corner just to kind of add a little dimension. And then my cheeks, the Berry Blush by Palladio. And then my lips, this is, I did not reapply this, you guys. I reapplied it once today. So I had it on this morning and I reapplied it once. Um, it's been in the Minneapolis airport after I had some Chick-fil-A for lunch. So only twice today and it still looks, it's that Chanel Double Intense. This shade is in Deep Rose, but the um the shade that's what discontinued the shade in light rose is my favorite but this one obviously is a little bit deeper anyway i just want to show you they're so cute um they brought me a little a little goodie bag and i had seen heather talk about this she had one of these at a hotel and she wanted to buy it because she thought it was so cute and they didn't sell them so she found it on amazon she bought one so it's just a little washcloth that says makeup i love that <laughs> it just makes me so happy. I love things that t tell you what they're for. Um, and then this is so cute. This is a little Christmas tea towel from Kentucky. And so it says the 12 days of Christmas in Kentucky. And she bought it specifically because this is 10 hot browns baking. And tomorrow I'm going to have a hot brown at the Brown Hotel with Erica from Erica Jones. And so I'm really <laughs> I'm excited about that. I'd never even heard of it before, but it's apparently a Louisville thing. So um, it has all kinds of like Louisville things in here for the 12 days of Christmas. It's so cute. And then uh, Fior de Lis is, these are coasters. They're really neat too. They have a nice little kind of rubbery thing on the bottom. Not to be confused with um, Rooting for the Saints, Jamie. Um, <laughs> but anyway, these are um, just really neat. Very nice. Like, look like they're maybe made out of bamboo. Um, so cute. And for a Fior de Lis is a Louisville thing as well. So... Thank you again to both of them for hanging out with me, making some time for me. I really, I enjoyed myself. I always say I want to be a smart mouth sister because they are just, they're just the cutest and such good people and just, you know, it's important to lift the, lift, women need to lift other women up, not tear them down. And um, they are that kind of people. So anyway, it's about 1030. It's 930 technically in my world because, um, Central Time. I'm now in Eastern Time, but I'm going to uh, upload this footage and get it edited and get it uploading hopefully overnight if the Wi-Fi is fast enough. So we shall see. If you see this in the morning or at some point tomorrow, then you know I was able to get it uploaded. So I don't know about how much. I, I, I should have some good footage with Erica tomorrow. So probably most of tomorrow we'll be hanging out with Erica. I'm doing some work in the morning and then kind of taking some um, you know, a little bit of vacation time sort of here and here and there interspersed tomorrow. Some days of vacation I was supposed to get at the end of the month. I'm not going to now because I need to help out with something. So anyway, doesn't matter. I have some time coming to me is the point. So we'll see what we see tomorrow. I hope you guys had a great Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yes, I hope you had a great Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.